So welcome to the transplant of Bai's computer. This is the case I have at the moment. It's a Zalman Z11 Plus. Well, it hasn't been a bad case. I don't think it's like stylish wise. It's a little bit aggressive. It has been a little bit tight on space. And you can kind of tell Zalman, Zalman haven't maybe made that many more. Can I get my tripod legs down without? Oh, there we go. And knock something over. Brilliant. Uh, haven't made that many cases before. You can see there's a little bit of damage at the moment. Put that down there. Are you still in shot? You are, aren't you? Um, new graph, uh, graphics card. Currently a HD7850. I bought myself... Can I get this out? A... Uh, Asus R9-390X and according to all the diagrams you need 30 centimeters of space sorry this is probably quite crackly and loud there we go needed, it's still recording out here, battery yeah needed 30 centimeters of space which I have from the inside of there to there is 30 centimetres. Brilliant. The new graphics card. 31 centimetres and it said it was 30. But because of this little lip here and the way these are constructed, you actually need probably 32, 33 centimetres to actually get this bit of those slot into the back and to get it in. So, I, let me put this card down. It's a lot of money, and I don't like holding it too much. Um, uh, very good there. Yeah, I started hacking into here, bending it over, bending this cage up. Nah, it turned out the way my hard drives are like toolless, I was going to have to hold them together like I've done here with tie wraps. Ain't nobody got time for that. Especially when I'm quite proud of my PC. So, time for a new case. This is the case I went for. It is the Corsair 300R windowed. I don't mind the front. I'm not... Yeah, it's okay, the front. But money-wise, I couldn't really choose that much. I needed a bit more of a bigger case. It's not a full-size case, it's still a MIDI case, but money's money. You've, yeah, it's the only kind of case that fitted what I wanted, and the only one, this is what sold it to me. Take these off. It's got side fans and all that. It's got better fans than what my current Zalman case had. Hmm. Oh, I just noticed the clip. It isn't actually... It's not clipped in there, right? Uh, I'll have a look at that in a sec. It's got... You might not be saying it's black. No drive bays there, so... You have... Like it's, it's restricted the amount of drives now. You can only have five drives, but really... What the bloody hell are you doing? If you've got a RAID 10 system set up or something, the average home user, I would have said five drives is more than enough. Space-wise, look at all that space. Enough space to fit the card in. A piece of piece. You couldn't do it in Crossfire because of the bays at the bottom, but it allows for one card to be absolutely enormous. So I'm going to do a little uh, like jump cuts every now and then. As I'm doing different pizza pieces, on me transferring stuff around. Right, jump cut. I'm back, I've got enough. I've been looking at the door. I wonder how well this will show up on camera. At the bottom here, I'll turn it around. It isn't clipped in right. There's a little bit of metal that sticks up from the side of the case. And it looks like it should fit into a slot, and there isn't where there is 
on this. I think this Perspex is bloody wrong way around. This is how it sits on the side of the case. And I've just looked at some pictures. Is that a crack? And, um... These are the other way around. There's less Perspex on this side as there is on that side. I'm going to see if I can maybe swap it over myself. I'm just not going to do the build. I'm just going to get in contact with Corsair if it doesn't look good. There we go. Got it swapped around. Yeah, it's a little bit. The plastic weight was forced. I guess the little divot just fits in that bit there. I guess it was there in the factory, so they fit it the right way around. I guess whoever made it was having an off day that day. Anyway, right. Time to actually start getting stuff moved over. Right, we're starting to get there, just getting ready to remove some of the fans. Remove the back case. You can probably have a better look now. Uh, basically what I was starting to do is bend over this and the top to get room for the car to fit in. And yeah, nah. It's, I don't know, I'm quite proud, I've been quite proud of my PCs. And the thoughts of having the drives tied up with the zip ties was not an appealing one. I one thing with this case, it was never easy to work on. Can you see that? And shot like a... To rip the front off, you just pull it off. But then to get this top up, you to sit, even to get the, the fans to probably dust them, there's clips all the way along the outside. It's just a pain in the ass. Absolute pain in the ass. Where with the new fan, it's just a grill at the top with just the fan straight under. And anyway, yeah, I'm gonna slowly start getting all these fans out, and then I'll probably move the fans straight over to the new case, as I want them in before I do anything else. As I generally find with the top fans, there's not much room clearance uh, with the motherboard, especially if you've got a big ass heatsink. So you have the I have the fans removed, DVD drives removed, hard drive removed, most of the cables are disconnected. From the motherboard, I decided just to take the whole thing apart in one go, and then I'll literally just lift the motherboard straight out of this, straight into the new case. Um, I've still got to double check the standoffs in the new case, and the show remembering the standoff to anyone unfamiliar, it's what the motherboard sits on, and I believe the one the new case I've got, it has a standoff in the middle, basically a bit of copper that sticks up. That for a full size board like mine will should not be there and I have to remove it. So I'm going to double check that. As I think quite common, I see a lot of mini uh like micro is it micro ATX, mini ATX? The smaller boards with just double PCI on the bottom. But, uh, I still like full size boards. Oh yeah. Go on the PSU, this is when I'm hoping, uh, come on, having a modular PSU. Oh. Come on. Okay, let's just take it out. And then unclip. Oh, look at that. Look. Just unclip it, everyone. Oh, bloody hell. Right, I think I'm back. Bloody battery ran out as I was talking. Probably cut off the last few seconds of me. So yeah, some of these cables are not bloody tight. The one I really had problems with was the 24 pin that goes to the motherboard on this side, not the 8 pin. It just wouldn't come out. And you just got to keep on pulling to know it's like, well, it, it, it's got to come out. You've got the clip pressed in, everything like that. Oh, I must admit, I love my EVGA power supply. It's a little bit overkill. But this should come in handy now with this big chip I'm putting in. And I'm going to tidy up all these wires. And I'm probably get the new case ready. To just, I'm look, I'm hoping. I might not be, there's a standoff screw. I'm trying to see if I can get away with not removing the heatsink. I would very much not like, yeah, I'd like not to, because I would remove all the fans off the side to reattach it. Anyway, I'll see how that goes. 
Right, new case time. Um, looks like the standoffs are correct. The only thing it has has, I don't like them, it has the locator standoff now in the middle that doesn't screw in, which I will be taking off and putting in a standard standoff. As I like to have a screw in there because, like on your motherboard, where the CPU cooler is, that's a hell of a lot of, that's a lot of weight. Off the side of that, I know it's a carbon fiber motherboard and all that stuff, but no, I think I'll be swapping. I did the same with Poppies when I built it last month. I don't, I don't like those locator ones. Um, I'm swapping over. It comes with two fans already. Comes with a 12 mil at the back, what well, 12 centimeter, and a, a 14 centimeter at the front. Um, I've already got from the old case a um, Corsair uh, AF140 that I'll be putting at the front, and then at the top and sides. I have two of the course, well three of these, well two of these, the high airflow and then one of the SFs. Basically you get different fans for depending on where they're going to go, depending on the air pressure. So this has a bigger fan design, bigger blades, so it's able to create a higher air pressure. So I'll be putting those, so this fan probably won't be used, I'll be taking it off. I'll be putting these in. Anyway, let's get going. And then for the front, like I said, it came with a 140, 14 centimetre, 140 mil. That would be the screwdriver. Oh, the hell. Uh, the other 140 mil I have is a high airflow. Because of the skinny little... Uh, fin designs, so it's meant not to come uh, uh, to have anything free flowing behind it. So I'll be swapping them round. This one on the top, where there's only this, then the other one at the bottom where the hard drive caddies are, as this one will not perform as well down there as what it was up there. Little things, both fans in. I'm going to remember, I don't mind having the sound of loud fans, but I cannot stand the sound of like vibration, especially in the case. So, just tie wrapping those together, so when the cables come through, there shall be no vibration, bad vibration. Right then, I think I'm ready to put the motherboard in. I've got it sitting on cardboard, the old motherboard. It is those un unglossy, just plain basic cardboard so that can be, well, as minimise the risks of a static shot or whatever. But anyone earlier that I might have wanted to change this uh, standoff to one that you screw in, don't worry, anyone who knows Corsair cases, I noticed it. This one is raised up. It does come with an extra standoff in the bag, but that would make this one about two millimeters higher than every other one. And while I'm sure your board would go in, uh, potentially you could crack your board over time. Uh, I remember when I'm putting poppies in, I changed that over, but I'm 99% sure I would have noticed it as I was putting the board in, as the board wouldn't have been level. Anyway, hopefully the battery will last. I've been able to leave the heatsink on. I'm probably sounding a bit quiet because I'm walking away to get it. So, I've already got the back plate in. I hate getting motherboards in. Ooh. Did you go in first time? Oh, bloody hell, yeah. Okay. Um, I quite like that little helper one. Um, 
It actually makes life a little bit easier. Yeah, Poppy's case was an absolute bugger. And it was nothing to do with that. It was the, the motherboard. Uh, it had bits that actually pressed through the IO plate. And it was, yeah, difficult trying to get this in. Okay then, that's, that's the stressful bit over. I'm gonna start putting in the screws. Well, it's slowly getting there. It's been a little while since the last little update. Oh, been a little bit stressful. Got the PSU, got all the relevant cables. I think that's quite dark. Hopefully you can see enough. Uh, problem I had up here is the HC, it's the front audio connector that is for, you know, your headphones, your microphone and stuff like that. Uh, it's supposed to come generally up through there and in. Couldn't. It was too short. Uh, went on the forums, yeah. It's a common problem. Even if you have a short PSU, it's too short. So, it's a bit cowboy, but it worked. Pliers, basically, have just sneaked it up underneath where the PSU fits in and bent the metal away so there's just enough room to sneak the cable through. Uh, it's really now just putting in... I put the hard drives in. I must admit my SSD. Little, 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 little tiny thing like that. Yeah, looks a bit silly. Well, not silly. And then my two other drives, my uh, Western Digital Black Recording Drive, and then my Attache uh, Death Star for all my pictures and stuff. Put in DVD drives, and then it's just cables. And cables. I've already got all the front panel is all connected up. So this is what is probably going to take me most of the time. Once I've got all the cables in, it'll then be graphics card last. I already have the two PCI Express uh, power. I've already fed it through. And my plan is to take them through here. And next they connect at the back of the card. Anyway, back to work. And that is it. That is everything in. Uh, one of the fans isn't working as I'm shorting some cables. Uh, so this front fan isn't working, but the bottom front is. Uh, the one for the hard drives, and that will probably feed most of the air for the new graphics card. Uh, cable management. Oh, yeah, I need a few little cable adapters um, to get it a bit neat at the back there. I have no idea how coming. Are you going to... It looks so dark in there on screen. Um, it turns out for the f case, um, for the side, for the perspex, for the two fans I wanted to put in, there's no room. So, there's no fans on the side. I'll have to see how temperature goes. If necessary, I could always attach fans to the outside of the case. On this side of the perspex, blowing in or maybe blowing out as, it, as exhaust. Uh, I've already had it turned on as I forgot to uninstall the old graphics card. So I put that card in, turned it on, uninstalled it. And now I'm ready to turn it back on again. So if you're seeing this video, the assumption can be that it all works swimmingly. Right? Wish me luck.